Hi there, welcome once again to the Light of Life. My name is Joseph Bimbo Akinjoku. The Word of God as revealed in the Bible is full of a whole lot of wisdom, insight and great light for us so that we can fulfill His purpose for our lives. If you therefore want to know what the will of God is for your life and how you can accomplish it, the first point of call should be the Bible. And that's why I'm going to be sharing with you five key features today that will help you in the pursuit and the fulfillment of the will of God for your life. Note that God only gives reward to those who have fulfilled his will, not those who just do whatever it is that they feel like doing. Therefore, if we're going to qualify for divine reward, we must discover what the will of God is for our lives and then commit ourselves to its fulfillment. Now, there are five key features that we can find in, in the book of Genesis chapter 2 that will help us in the pursuit and the fulfillment of the will of God for our lives. Now the first is what we see in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. The Bible says that God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. If you are going to be able to fulfill God's will for your life, the first thing you need is his life on the inside of you. Yes, I know you are alive and you are active and anyone that would even consider the will of God or being able to fulfill it in this earth would have to be someone that is alive because the dead cannot praise him as David said. But the life that I'm talking about goes beyond the natural life. It has to do with the life of God being impacted into a man. And that is why you cannot live a fulfilled life until God himself lives on the inside of you. Bible makes us understand in the book of John chapter 1 from verse 1 says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made he says in him was life and this life is the light of men and the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot overcome it this life is what God makes available unto us that enables us fulfill his will for our lives. That is why every man that fulfilled God's will for his life, first of all, had an encounter with God and his word. And that was what kickstarted their destiny. Think of somebody like Noah or someone like Moses, or is it Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Daniel, all of these men had living encounters with the word of God that showed them what the purpose of God was for their lives and how they were to go about it. It is this encounter with the world that impacts them with the life that is required to fulfill purpose. The Bible tells us in John 3 16, say for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. That is the life of God, the God kind of life. When this life comes on the inside of you, you are enabled to fulfill God's will because the natural life cannot on its own fulfill the purpose of God. You need God himself walking on the inside of you with his life and you have encounter with that when you open your life to the word of God. Now the second thing you need is a place, a location. Bible tells us in that same John, sorry, Genesis chapter 2 that God created a garden in Eden. Out of all the places that were on the earth, God carved out a place that he called Eden. And it was in this place called Eden that he put man. Meaning, even though the whole earth was available for man to go into, there was a place that was carved out by God that was defined as the territory within which man was to operate. If you are going to fulfill the purpose of God for your life, there is something about you, the place that you have to be in. If you are outside of that place, it does not matter how much effort you make, you may just realize that you are not able to be as effective or as productive as you are supposed to be. God told Abraham to depart out of his father's house, to leave the place that he was familiar with and to go on to a country that he was going to show him the place he was going to was key. God had to remove Joseph from his father's house and take him to the land of Egypt. It was at that place that his destiny found fulfillment. God had to move Israel out of Egypt and brought them into the promised land. It was at that place that they became an established nation. 
everyone requires a place jesus christ when he came he restricted himself to the lost sheep of the house of israel he did not go over every part of the land of israel or all the territories of rome at that point in time yes he was the son of god but he still defined a territory you need to know your place if you are going to fulfill god's purpose for your life you are not for everywhere you are not for every location there is a place called there for you that god has designed for you you need to find it and commit yourself to it the fact that a particular land is conducive for planting corn does not mean it is conducive for planting yam you need to know where god has designed you as a seed to be planted into so that you can flourish the bible says that they that be planted in the house of our god will flourish in the courts of our god you need to be planted in your place if you are going to flourish now the third point is that you must discover your purpose god put man in the garden with a clear mandate upon his life and that mandate was for him to dress and to keep it that was the task that god gave man god doesn't just put us in a place for us to occupy space he said in one of his parables that the lord of those servants left and told his servants to occupy till he was going to come back so there is a mandate upon your life you need to discover that because it is that mandate that will help you measure whether you are walking in line with the will of god for your life or not when you know what the purpose of god for your life is you are able to discern quickly whether you are deviating from it and how you can easily find yourself back into it there is a purpose for god for your life you need to spend time with god and discover it god wanted you to do something he wanted an assignment for abraham he had a purpose for isaac he created jacob to fulfill an assignment you need to discover yours because you are not here to occupy space there is a purpose of god for your life a way for you to influence your world peter was an apostle to the circumcision paul was an apostle to the uncircumcised every one of these ones had a purpose and they fulfilled it and that's why they are qualified for divine reward you too need to spend time with the word of god and let him show you with the light of his word what his will for your life is and then you commit yourself to its fulfillment god is ready to show it to you the question is are you willing to desire to know it because that is the key to you discovering it the fourth point if you're going to fulfill the purpose of god for your life is the need for you to get guidance guidance is extremely important because this earth that you're walking in you've not been there before but you are privileged to have the ancient of this the one who created the whole earth who knows the end from the beginning on your side if you are a child of god and is willing to provide you guidance that's why he told man clearly he said of all the trees in this garden you may freely eat but the one that has to do with that's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you must not touch it because the day you touch it you are going to die god provided guidance guidance is key that's why jesus christ said that he will send the holy spirit to us that he will guide us into all truth luke 179 says that to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace he said in psalm 32 verse 8 he says i will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go i will guide you with my eyes on you guidance is key i have discovered that most of the people who were able to fulfill god's will for their lives received guidance either from the holy spirit god sending angels to them or from the leaders that he has placed into their lives that is physical human beings you need to understand who god has called you to follow whose voice you are to hack into if you are going to fulfill his will for your life guidance has no alternative you need to have people that god has, has put in your life discover them and them follow them so that you can fulfill his will he says that we should be followers of them who through faith and patience endured as endured and then they were able to inherit the promise 
So guidance is key. You need to spend time with the word of God and with his Holy Spirit to provide guidance for you. And last thing I'm mentioning in this teaching is help. Before the devil came on the scene, God knew that man needed help. And that's why he said in Genesis 2.18 that it was not good for man to be alone, that he would make a help that is meat, that is the help that is suitable for him. It does not matter who you are, you need help. And it is that help when you have it that would enable you to fulfill the will of God for your life. No man is an island. No man can fulfill the will of God for his life all by himself. There is always need for one man or another to make contributions into your life to help you in the fulfillment of his will for your life. You need that help of man. And when you learn to turn to God, he will bring the help into your life. Men are means, but God is the source of all help. All helps come from God, but most helps come through men. You must learn to turn to God, keep your eyes on him so that he can be the one to direct men towards you to help you in the fulfillment of his will for your life. These are the five things that I want you to ponder upon and see how much of those things are actively operational in your life and how you need to seek them. Either by praying, the design of God that those things be put into your life or you spending time in connecting with others so that you can fulfill his will for your life. I hope you will ponder on this and as you do so, may the grace of God abound upon your life and may he empower you and enable you to fulfill his will for your life so that you will be qualified for divine reward. God bless you and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Remain blessed.